what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video on the fear of being average trading channel and today i'm going to bring you guys another video on today's daily range on us 30 today is january the 4th today is tuesday and i'm about to get into this basically this analysis on today's daily range and daily price action so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mark up the asian range from last yesterday i use right here from 18 o'clock which should be right here from 18 o'clock all the way to midnight that is where i use my asian range that's where i delineate it just like that i'm also going to put the 50 percent of it so like this and i'm going next step i'm going to do is i'm going to put the 12 a.m open which is this line that i have delineated here this is the 12 a.m open this is the 12 a.m open and so on and so forth so i'm going to put that right at the low of this bullish candle because since it is a bullish candle i'm going to have to put at the open of that bullish candle and if it was at a bearish candle for example like this right here i would have had to put the open above at the open of it there so now that we have the asian session and then we have the 50 percent and then we have the 12 a.m open delineated we're going to basically look at what happened all the way down here the first area of price that catches my eye is right here and why is this significant because for one, we got to look at when this happened. This happened at 2.15 in the morning. And this also made the low of the day. So I'm going to mark that down. So we have the low of the day at 2.15 a.m. Plus, trade it into Asian range high. So you see right here, this low is very important because this is the low of the day and if you pay attention to my daily live streams i said that this could possibly be the low of the day when i was trading this morning and why did i assume that for one we see that the time the time it happened is very important it happened during early london session early london session you can see that price pushed below this 12 a.m open and then had a swift movement to the top side creating this engulfing bullish candle making the low of the day down here at 2 o'clock, it technically made the low of the day, but 2.15, 2 o'clock, this is overall London session made the low of the day, and that happens very often. Now, you guys need to pay attention to the multiple videos I make on the daily ranges. Pay attention to when these lows of the day are made and when these highs of the day are made. They're going to be very beneficial if you have multiple and multiple, multiple of data that you can look back at and then look at and just basically review. So that's important. So this is going to be the low of the day. The second thing I'm going to do so I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to pay attention to where the high of the day was made, which is all the way up here. The high of the day was made at 1030 in the morning. Why is this significant? The high of the day at 1030 a.m. Now we're going to see where did price trade into. In this point in time, this is an all-time high because as where you go to the, say, daily time frame right here, we're trading at all-time highs and currently just just making new highs so there's not really much we can go off of if we look into the left and look off of history there's not really much to go off of so this high of the day was made after trading into 36,950. which if i come over here to this chart you can see it yeah it came pretty close to 36,950 on this broker i'm pretty sure it did touch 30,950. yeah basically so if i put this right here uh right there 36,950. You can see that's where price tapped into before having that overall reversal. Now, why is this important? Why is this area significant? Because for one, it traded, it made the high of the day at 1030. Now, why is that important? Because you got to keep in mind that there was news today at 10 in the morning. Keep that in mind. If you go back and watch the video I previously made this morning on my daily live session, I'm pretty sure it was episode 64 of Chats and Charts. I strictly said that I wanted to wait till 10 a.m. because I knew that there would be a high chance that price would then try to have that final retracement because of the news. And as you can see, 10.30 in the morning, this is where we made the high of the day. And then from here, we traded down lower and lower. Now, from here, you can simply pull your fib from that high to this low right here on your normal fib. And I'm going to use the clips just like this so you can see where I drew it from. And you can see that those are easy... I wouldn't say easy. I never like to use the word easy in trading, but there was this very straightforward fib retracement back into this last up candle before the down move. So if you look right here on this 30 minute or even on an hour, we'll use the 30 minute. 
So we have this 30 minute order block right here, which I'm going to delineate. It's a 30 minute bearish order block. And we also saw that price traded into the fib short. Just like that. Go back to the 15 minute. Now we can move this over just like this. Another thing I'm going to do, I'm also going to mark up the 50% of that Asian, not Asian, of that 30 minute order block right here. I'm used to marking up the 50% of that Asian range. But you can see if I delineate the 50%, you can see how close price came into it. At what time is this? This is about 1554. I'm not sure, honestly. This is 12. I'm not good with military time, honestly. I trade New York session, so anything that happens after 12 o'clock a.m., p.m., I'm not really paying attention to it, honestly. But you can see that we had this retracement, this possible re-entry. So I'm going to write that down. Possible re-entry at Fib short plus 30-minute order block. Simple as that. And now I'm going to have that written down because I'm delineating everything. Everything we write down is for a reason because we can go back to these areas in price and these screenshots and videos that we have and look at what price overall did. So in my opinion, then we've seen price travel all the way down here before retracing. But overall, if you look at the overall setup we had today, it was an overall London continuation setup. Why? Because the Asian session, it consolidated like it always does. Had a push high, made the low of the day right here made the low of the day and then from here prices moved all the way higher during the whole session hold on didn't mean to do that let me write that again we had the asian session price traded higher during london made the low of the day had a retracement back to the asian session high and then from there price continued to push on higher so overall this was a bullish london continuation setup in which you could have easily looked to catch in my just from my experience I wasn't able to catch any buys today because once I get on the chart, it's around 8.30 in the morning EST, Eastern Standard Time. So if you look where that is, right around here, 8.30, price was already in this major uptrend. And I was looking for price to have a retracement for me to potentially look to take price higher. But overall, this was a trending day on US 30. So prices overall kept expanding to the top side. And then at 10.30 in the morning, when we had that news at 10 o'clock, you could see that affected price and made it slowly move lower so where would this ideal trade be in my opinion the most ideal trade you would have been able well at least looking to take in my opinion would have been this sell here this would have been the most ideal trade with a good risk reward stop loss going above that 30 minute order block which would have been about 37 to 37 37 to 40 pips and i simply would have been targeting this low right here and this could have given you a easily a 1 to 3.8 depending on your stop loss you can easily turn that into a 1 to 4 but being on the safe side let's just say you got a 1 to 2 using a 52 pip stop above this high and then this could have been your ideal trade in my opinion why because we simply saw that price wanted to make its way down we were waiting for a retracement to at least come to this in my opinion retrace back to the Asian such a high those are usually areas I like to target price why because if you understand the Asian session and why it's important, you understand that the Asian session is the it, majority of the time is going to be the daily consolidation of the day. And what do you know about consolidation? When there's consolidation, that means there's a lot of orders and there's a lot of just people trading in that area. And what do you know about that? The areas that have the most orders is going to be where price is likely to move to and from is basically volatility. Price trades towards volatility. And that's why I, you can see price traded back to the Asian session high, retested, and then pushed from there. And then here, I would have been looking to ideally target this Asian session high, which almost got hit. You can see right now it's still in, would have been a profit if you would have taken a specific trade like this. But in my opinion, today was just a trending day overall, and there's not really much you could do on trending days like this. If you really wanted to, you could have tried to catch this buy if you would have pulled the fib from this London low to this high made during early pre New York session, which is not a session that I trade. So personally, I cannot catch this trade even if I wanted to. So just like that, take off a 38.20%. I'm going to use this right here to show where I drew my FIB. So from that London low of the day to this pre New York high price retrace into the 62%. And if you maybe go to a higher time frame, it didn't tap into any order blocks. Maybe you go to a lower time frame, like the five minute it did. But on the 15, it didn't really tap into it. But you can see price traded right into that 62% to the pip. Just like this, to the pip. 
and then from here price just expanded and expanded this would have been the ideal trade but this was something that happened at 7 15 in the morning so it's not ideal in my opinion so i'm just going to take that off because i'm only going to be using what i would be able to use with my trading strategy and my trading strategy or trade plan whatever you want to call it trade system i do not trade at that time so that's not something i'm going to write down but yeah this is basically what happened overall with us 30 today not, nothing much happened there's a little bit of a boring day for me personally because when i got done trading it, price was somewhere around here so in my opinion you can see when i was done trading the price was just pushing all day and i was trying to catch sales which i was unfortunately not able to catch but you live and learn and now we are able to mark up this daily range just like this so i'm going to take a screenshot of this make sure if you guys want to too also to take a screenshot and just journal them you don't have to do all this work yourself if you don't want to you could just screenshot this print them out do whatever you want but if i were you personally i would make sure i would do this myself so that you can learn and see certain things but yeah this is really all that happened with us 30 nothing much ideally i was looking for price to possibly tap into this 37,000 level we'll probably get it tomorrow more than likely but we'll see what happens only time will tell but this is today's daily range on january 4th so if you were able to learn something from me today make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video